everybody, it's Risa from Hudson Valley Vintage. So um, a customer came in a little while ago and we were talking about whitewashing and I did a little demo for her. So I thought, why not jump on and show you guys exactly what I showed her. So um, this is what we started with, just a plain pine board. And um, this is what we ended with. So hopefully you can see um, the difference pretty well. So we started with a plain pine board and we whitewashed it with fusion mineral paint in raw silk. So um, this is what the raw silk looks like. And as you can see, I hope you can see, the raw silk um, gave it a ni nice whitewash and it also settled into the um, details on the piece. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we used raw silk. You've probably heard of whitewash mostly used um, like with grays and whites and, and lighter colors. Lillian! And I want you guys to see that you can also do it with dark colors. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use Renfrew Blue, which is a very rich, vivid teal color. So um, I'm going to take my board. I have an un another unpainted board. And I'm going to take, I'm going to use a paper plate. You can use any kind of container. And what you're going to need besides the container, obviously, is a brush. You're going to need some water. I'm going to use a spray bottle. And you're going to need some kind of a lint-free cloth. I'm using these little um, towels that you can get, like, in any hardware store. Usually they come in a bag of 10 or 20. They're very inexpensive. And we throw them in the wash and reuse them over and over again. So. <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of my Renfrew Blue. I put some in a bottle to squeeze some out. And I'm only using the tiniest bit. So what I'm going to do is just spray my paint directly right into the... Um, sp spray my paint. Spray my water right into the paint. The reason I use a spray bottle and I don't just pour water in there is because I like to have a little bit more control and I feel like I can do that with a spray bottle. <clears throat> I'm going to take my brush and just mix it up. And I feel like it's still a little thick. I almost have like a clump of paint. So I'm going to add just a drop more water. Now um, you only want to do this with a water-based paint. And um, Fusion is so great to do it with because it's not super thick like, um, like many chalk-based paints are. Okay, so I've done that. The next thing I'm going to do is take my um, lint-free cloth and I'm just going to dampen it with my water. I just want it to be damp. So now I'm going to take my paint, my watered-down paint, and I'm just going to paint my board with it and you're gonna see it's hopefully you can see that it's pretty sheer now I'm going to take my lint-free cloth and I'm just gonna wipe it back and I'm, I'm doing this going with the with the grain can you see how pretty that is I feel like I took too much paint off so all I have to do now is go back apply a little bit more paint and then just wipe back. And you'll notice that it's settled into the details. Look how pretty that is. Imagine that on a piece that has a lot of detail to it, how beautiful that would be. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to doing a whitewash. It's so easy that I feel silly showing it to you. That's how easy it is. So um, why would you want to do a whitewash on a piece? Well, let's say you have a piece that's never been painted and um, you have the raw wood, and the wood is lovely. You have nice grain to it, you have um, nice knots in the paint, and you just want to give it a little bit of a color, but you don't want to make it opaque and cover it completely. So you're going to do a whitewash. It's a perfect, perfect um, technique for that. Um, you could do it on an older piece if you sand down, obviously, the paint or the wood that's, that's on there. Um, but that's just how easy it is. I love doing this technique. We also like to do this sometimes when we do wood signs. Um, we'll do this to make it look sort of like a barn wood effect. 
And I'm just gonna go back and show you real quickly the white, okay? So, I've got another um, unpainted board, and I have some raw silk from earlier, and I'm gonna add a little water to it. So again, I'm using my spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray it directly into the water, into the paint, and use my brush to mix it up. And by the way, this is one of the techniques that we do in our Furniture Painting 101 workshop. People always love doing this. It's a lot of fun. And there is really no learning curve whatsoever. It's so easy. Okay. So I have my cloth, my lint-free cloth, and I'm gonna go to a clean part and just dampen it again. So I'm gonna take my pine board paint on my watered down paint and I'm not really concerned about brush strokes or anything and, and you'll see why in a second. Then I'm going to take my board and go with the grain and wipe it back. Look how pretty that is. And as I said before, if I feel like I took too much off, I can play with it and go back and forth. Put a little bit more on. And again, I'm gonna wipe a little bit off. Isn't that pretty? I hope you can see that well. I actually put a little bit more on this one than I did on the first one. These both have raw silk on them. And then this one I did in Renfrew Blue, which is an awesome color to use for a whitewash. I just, it's got such a boho look. So um, I just wanna give you one more tip and that is that um, you can actually do a whitewash effect over something that's painted a different color. I like to call that a color wash. You do it exactly the same way. Um, you just do it over something that's been painted in a different color that's completely dry. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of pieces in my store that um, I've done a color wash with and that I've done a... Um, regular whitewash. So I'm going to show you a piece that I um, did. I did this dresser and drawers are in a whitewash technique, which I really love. So um, <clears throat> these drawers um, I did in a lamp white whitewash. So um, you can see what that looks like. It's really a beautiful technique. If you have a piece that you like, the, you know, you really like the wood, maybe you don't want to stain it, um, but you, you know, you really think it's pretty, that you like the wood a lot, the whitewash is a great way to go. And then I did the top um, in a faux driftwood, which that's, I'll save that for another day. Okay, and I just want to show you the color washed piece that I did. Okay, so this piece, um, this is a little hutch, little, just like a small little cabinet. So um, I'll show you close up. What I did was I painted this in Little Lamb, which is a gray color, and I let it dry completely, and then I did a color wash over it in Champness, which is a blue. And you can see here how the champness really, you know, stayed in the details. It gave it a very slight wash in blue, but, um, you know, you can really see how the blue makes it pop. So that's, again, what I call a color wash. All right, great. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you will try doing a whitewash or a color wash after you watch this. If you have any questions whatsoever, please post them in the comments and we will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. This is Risa from Hudson Valley Vintage and we will be back soon. Take care, have a great day.